The custom HTML block lets you add HTML content and edit it without having to view the page or post as HTML. This block is great for those that prefer to work in HTML, and it's one of the best ways to embed certain types of code, such as Google Maps. To add the custom HTML block to your content, press the plus icon, search for HTML, and select the first option. Alternatively, you can type forward slash HTML and press the enter key to also bring up the block. Unlike most blocks, this one does not include options in the editor sidebar right over here, which you can open with the settings icon. Instead, you'll find all the options you need in the toolbar right above. If you don't see the toolbar, just click on the block and it will show up. The HTML icon right here opens a dropdown box where you can transform the block to columns, group, or code. So columns places the block within columns. Group will actually add the block to a group so you can adjust them as a single block. And code will turn this custom HTML block into a code block. Of course, here we have the drag and move tools the HTML and preview buttons let you select how the block works with HTML in the editor. The HTML button is selected by default. This shows the HTML in its code form rather than executing it. This example shows the HTML of a Google map. Selecting preview shows how the HTML will look on the front end as it's executed within the browser. It's easy to switch back and forth between the views. This is an excellent way to make edits and quickly review the results. On the far right of the toolbar are three dots in a vertical stack. This will open up even more settings that allow us to convert to blocks, copy, duplicate, insert before, insert after, move to, add to reusable blocks, group, and of course, remove block. As you can imagine, there's not a lot to it when it comes to the custom HTML block, but that's just about everything you need to know. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.